you know, we all have been having this huge conversation and dialogue surrounding the Lifetime Achievement Award that happened yesterday uh, at the BET Awards that was given to Usher. And I feel like we were robbed in a, you know, a little bit. You know, I know a lot of people were happy. And I and I did, I will say this. It started off strong. But after Coco, it fell a little flat. And that's not to take anything away from any of the other ladies that were performing. But it's, it's just the reality and it's the truth. You know, where are the male vocalists? Yes, Childish Gambino. Oh my God, that was amazing. But... This was clearly ladies' night, which is, you know, cool. And people are like, well, maybe Usher picked those people up. You want me to believe that Usher chose Tanache to do his Lifetime Achievement Award? No. Like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to accept that. And then you have people that have the idea of, you know, well, maybe it's because he has been this ladies' man, like, he's been serenading women, it's the opportunity for the women to, like, give that back to him, you're not fooling me with that, especially finding out that they only had 48 hours to prepare for this award performance. And I say robbed because you have so many great R&B vocalists, like, male vocalists that exist, and we saw none of them you have Duran that was in the promo for the award ceremony and no Duran baby because he would have killed good kisser and you have even even Mario could have sang nice and slow or a lucky day and it just was it, it was just it fell flat for me after the first three performances Coco girl you are a star you are a superstar by the way um, and, and this is not to take anything away from the other performers that were there this night, but I just feel like we deserve so much more and Usher deserves so much more. And I'm just confused as to how a Lucky Day or Mario or Vito, Luke James is so many great dope R&B vocalists. Hell, Eric Bellinger that could have performed a special tribute for him. You know what I mean? And you you're telling me that Ludacris and 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 fucking Little John was busy to not do yeah. And we've seen versions of tributes where the artists them, like themselves have performed maybe at the end. But I'm just and I know Chris Brown is on tour. I know Lucky Day is on tour. But Y'all could have flew in and flew out. All y'all niggas is busy. So that's what I'm saying. It just, it doesn't make sense. And we really didn't get confessions. We we got superstar off confessions. We got, yeah, but you're not going to sing confessions my way. I'm just... How? How? So that's the, like there's something happening in black media right now, and that's a conversation on its own. But we need to start holding these motherfuckers accountable because this shit can't keep happening like this.